wait one second before we begin. Hopefully the music stops when I get in game. So hello and welcome to Russian Punk 2007. Hopefully you're all doing okay today and staying safe. This is Rand Plays Random Games. And we're playing... This is actually a very good cinematic at the start. I didn't expect it. So this is uh, Russian Punk 2007. I got this game from Key Mailer. It looks absolutely great, apart from the start screen, but... Russian. I was... I would just say that that says Pizza Hut. I don't know. We're not sponsored by Pizza Hut. Uh, we're not sponsored by Pizza Hut. They're off to go make pizzas over there. Uh, let's see. This is very good. This game did release this year. And... It looks like we're untextured. And it is on Steam, so if you're interested, time is running out. So if you're interested in the game, you can go get it yourself. Hopefully, I don't get copyright for this music. Activate the nostalgia protocol. What do you got? Here? Pull out the PS2, the Nintendo DS. This is absolutely great. I didn't think this was going to be like this. This is absolutely great. I'm, I'm glad I went in blind of this. Что? Like this should have been like the stream again. Like this should have been a uh, what do you call it? What should it? This should have been like collect them all. This should have been like what do you call it? Cyberpunk 2077. But it's just this. So Russian Punk 2007. Like this is obviously the superior version. That almost looks 3D. That's absolutely. That, who who's that guy on TV there? Oh, it's Putin. I was about to say that is that George W. Bush there? That that that's absolutely creepy. It looks like we have a. The Russian girl, hello. Find him. Find who? Me? I feel like I should take, take off the headset a little bit because I don't want any jump scares. I don't even think there is jump scares in this. <laughs> oh, that absolutely scared me. That was a jump scare. Oh, stop eating. Well, there's gotta be a dead body in the fridge. Gotta have a Michael Jordan in the fridge. I didn't expect this to be like it. Well, that's just cheap jump scares there. I bet you, oh, hello there. <laughs> Take that. Oh, I'm gonna get jump scared over here. I'm right now. <laughs> I did actually like the jump scares that they did. Narnia, we're going to Narnia, we're going in the closet to go to Narnia. 
nostalgia. Nostalgia. You know, this is absolutely great. I wish the wall texture was a little bit better, but you know, this is Russian Punk 2007. Ah uh, yes, our character. You know, today I kidnapped you from 2020 and finally stopped this strange apocalypse. As you can see, I already have a punk. Oh, well, we're the main character. I hope you're not as weak as the two before you. Like you're, you're like a better Keanu Reeves or something. Blah blah, you. We don't mean that. We're all friends here. Even after they jump scare. Are you alive? I already saw I'd have clogged up something. The subtitles go a little bit too fast. Singing you, singing you. Come on, comrade. This is Russian Punk 2007. Your skin is very good. I thought you were untextured. Who are you? My name is Sedor Sid Yuka. I am a time traveler. I am a time traveler. But more importantly, I am the last hope of humanity. Basically just like you. I don't quite understand. What do you mean? Do you know anything about the end of the world in December 2012? No, I don't know. No? No, I haven't heard. That's because you and I stopped him. To be more precise, should stop. But first, you have to go to 2007 and help me collect three artifacts. First is Cherry Blazer. So a blazer that's like a cherry. It is in possession of one person. One person. The locals call her the Queen. Second, a dollar for 25 rubies. Rubles. You will have to go down the, to the dungeon and fight with his master. Well, the last artifact. Spiritual staples. The last time they were seen in the anime temple, but not so long ago, it was captured by Goths, Goth Satanist. So, so one cannot do well uh, assault. Well, which artifact do you want to start with? Well, we go in order. Cherry Blazer, great choice. Well, since we've decided where to start, come to the gate. I will activate the portal and send you to 2007. Go back to 2007. Let's go back to 2007, boys. We gotta pull out our PS2 and PS1. Get our Nintendo DS out. Gotta play like Cook and Mama or something. Uh, I'm absolutely loving this game. I'm gonna do like a full playthrough of this. To make sure I'm recording also. Teleportation progress, 10%. 100%, make sure I'm recording. Impossible as possible. Oh! Stupid portal. Hey! Oh, it's chaff! The chaffs are coming! No chat! No chat, please, no! I gave you my school lunch money back in the day, please, stay away! And our heads are weakness. This is absolutely great! I wish it wasn't so bright and there wasn't that much motion blur though. I wish there was a way to turn down the music a little bit. 
hopefully you can actually hear me properly. So this is one of the games that I got from Team Miller. I have like three of them. And I will probably play the next two as soon as possible. Oh! Get away from me, woman! Stay to yourself! Oh, that's absolutely horrible. Emo girls! Oh, it's like a suicide bomber from Serious Sam! Get away from me, Lassie! At home, it's Chad! Got Nick Coxon! Got Nick Cola! Got Nick Cola! Get away from me, Chad! I think you can take me down, me, Chad! Actually, it looks like you can actually see their health bars. Come on, get away from me, Chad! Do a double headshot here. Wait, I must have taken that one. Just tell me you're the last one. Am I died? Dead, you should say. D A D. It looks like we're safe from death. Maybe I can get some upgrades or something. That seems to be a little bit laggy there. Oh no, it's just not. We cannot die. We can only continue. Actually, I really like this game. It's pretty fun so far. What is this place? Many people call this place emptiness. Neither, neither time nor space is a subject here. Roughly speaking, this is a kind of time loop. At any time, you can return to very beginning, all your equipment also remains with you. Also, you have to spend the accumulated money in the store. I love money. Shop. Ho ho ho! Ammo? Have to buy ammo? Chads. Wait, did I complete it? No. There's Chad. Pull Chad's head off. Seen you right behind me, mate. You can't touch me, I'm the gingerbread man. You understand that? Get away from me, Chad. I gave you my lunch money once. Not anymore. I see you have love putting on you. Very wholesome. Reminds me of the 2000s.
Вона ні, хест, та ні, бі. Але бір, стей, стей, камон. Тур, брейн, зау. Hey Chad, I know I owe you that lunch money, but have a 50 cal, not 50 cal, 45 in the face. Absolutely love this pistol, love the 1911. It's a great pistol, it was made by uh, John Brown. People consider him like a god of guns. He's basically the master of making guns. He made the 50 cal machine gun. Used in aircraft and all that. Only used in a uh, really support vehicle these days. That's pretty good. I still like the 1911. They replaced it with the M9 Beretta in like the early 2000s, I think, or the 90s. in that level and I did I can't skip this <sighs> well this has got me happening a lot in this uh, short video series of I don't know might make a series on this could be go through every level until we complete them I think that's the best choice imagine there's gotta be lizards or something in there future versions or something. Well, it's called Russian Pump 2007, so you're gonna have to spec like a ladder or something. Ladder, what it's called. We don't have enough money yet. So we quickly go back, kill some more chats. Hey Chad, I know I'll owe you that lunch money, but you can go away, back to where you belong. Filthy Chad, where you haven't even cleaned that hands of yours. I see you wearing Adidas. Very Russian like. If I get that shotgun, we can easily start taking out the uh, holy woman, the emo girl. Chad, get away from me! Why does Chad look like the kid from Toy Story? You know, the evil kid. Why are these girls speaking French or something? Chad's brother, 
shot Colton. Only I could shoot properly. Yeah, that's the same thing like how all Russians walk. Take the rush. Take that. Uh, Russian chad. I feel like the name's actually after somebody. Who actually is that? Can't aim straight with this gun. Wait, is that Russian kid back there? Oh no. The Russian woman. Get away from me, Russian woman! Where's Chad? Right, women everywhere. Oh, that's Chad. Hi, Chad. Wish I could figure out how to change the label. Because I think this is endless. I wouldn't really mind that. It's kind of fun going around. The M1911. It kind of reminds me of like Serious Sam and uh, what's it called? Doom a little bit. I don't know why. Maybe it's the music in the background. Russian, uh, what's that music called? Electronic music. <laughs> Chad can't see. He hasn't had no head now.
I'm gonna have to buy a better gun. Probably a thought rifle or something. Well, I guess this would be the end of the episode once I check out what we have in the next episode. I don't even know if there will be a part 2 of this. I would like to play through it again, but I don't want to you know, get copyright or anything. We get a bridge formed to us. I wish there was a way to skip that bit. But maybe I'm asking too much, huh? Shop. Oh ho ho, I AK-47. Oh wait, I don't have nothing. Shotgun. That's what we're supposed to- Ah, it's a shotgun with explosive ammo. That's what we're going- Nah, I think it isn't showing the right name. Yeah, it might be showing the right name. But that's what we're going to be doing for the next episode. Okay. We're going to be shooting the enemies with the shotgun pistol. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Have a nice day, safe up those apples, maybe even tomorrow should need to keep up the vitamins, very very important. And bye bye, see you next time, have a nice day, see you, bye bye!